I'm currently taking D on Cybersecurity Plus, and I'm getting close to taking the exam. I would like to know where I can find labs slash hands-on for the exam. Please advise. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah. So a CYSA Plus in the course, I'm guessing you're on the Udemy version, not the Dion training version, because the Dion training version already has the labs built in for you. The Udemy version doesn't, and that's a limitation of Udemy's platform. We are trying to work with them to get labs in the platform. Udemy has started building labs for certain things as a pilot. If you're taking an AWS course, for instance, there are some labs for AWS courses. We actually go in and do labs in the environment. They've done the same thing for Azure and AWS. They have not done it yet for anything outside of those two. As soon as they're ready to go to CompTIA, we've already told them we'll build all the labs for them and we'll do it. And we're, we're happy to do that. And Jamario and I and, and Reed will be the ones building all that stuff for you guys. Unfortunately, they don't currently have that. So we currently only do labs on our site. So if you're going on the Dion training version, our version of it is the same videos you get from Udemy. The difference is you also get our labs, which is 40 hours. You also get the official textbook and you also get the 100% pass guarantee if you bought at DionTraining.com, which says that you buy the course, you finish it in 60 days, you take the exam. If you fail it, you write to my support team. We give you a new exam voucher. So it's, it really is de-risking it for you. The big difference there is Udemy, the video course is like $20 and the practice exams are like, you know, 10 or $20. Our course on our site is like $350, I think, $350. But again, you're getting the textbook, the labs, both the videos and the practice exams, and you're also getting the pass guarantee. So it, it does cost more, but you also have that pass guarantee part of it. So that's one place to do it. If that's out of reach, it's a lot easier question to answer for pen test, to be honest, because there's so many good pen testing platforms out there, including Rangeforce, Voln Hub, and Try Hack Me, just, just three off the top of my head. I said there's not really a lot out there for the defensive side. Yeah, well, so the defense, best thing yeah. to do is if you create your own lab or as you're going through the course and you're seeing the tools I'm talking about, you actually use those tools too. So for instance, as I was refilming the new ISA version three course, I showed you, hey, you should go download Nessus, which is from Tenable's website. It's completely free. They've got a community version. You can download it. You can run scans on your network, see if your husband or wife's computer is secure, figure out what are all the vulnerabilities, go patch those, rescan it again, and get used to scan, patch, scan, because that's what you do as a cybersecurity analyst, right? That's one good way of doing it. Another thing you could do is set up Wireshark and start doing wire captures on your home network and then test yourself and say, okay, I had my wife go look at a video on YouTube, right? And then I go into my logs and say, let me see if I can figure out what, what video she was watching based on the wire capture I did, the wire shark capture I did. And then I would say, oh, honey, were you watching this video of, I, I don't know, Don't Stop Me Now by Queen? And she'd be like, yes, I was. Okay, great. I found it, right? So that's another way to do it. There are some CTFs that are focused on blue teaming, which is what CISA is all about. And so if you get into those, you can get some hands-on experience doing those as well. And those are free to join. I think there's a site called, it's like CTF Now or ctftime.org. I, I need to write some of these down to remember them because they always have weird names, but that is one that has like a list of every CTF out there and some are pen testing, some are defense. And if you go in some of the defense ones, you'll get more of that hands-on as well. But like I said, the defense side is a little bit harder. It's more based on the individual tools. I would tell you for CISA, the ones you want to really get good with, Nessus or OpenVos for vulnerability scanning, know how to run a scan, know how to read a scan, and be able to look at that scan and say, here's what a CVSS score is. Here's why this scan or this result from the scan is more severe than this one. Or this is what I would need to do to fix this scan. I scanned it and it said this using SSL. I should be using TLS 1.2. To fix that, I would go into Windows and set up this new cert with the newer version using this tool, right? If you can answer to that level, you'll do fine on the exam. Uh, another one you want to know front to back is going to be Nmap. Nmap is big on both Pentest Plus and CISA Plus. If you're not comfortable running Nmap scans, you are not going to do well on those exams. So definitely download Nmap, run it. It runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac. You can run on any operating system you have, run some scans, do some stuff. You can use scanme.nmap.org, which is an open server that they allow you to scan to see what vulnerabilities exist there using the Nmap tool and some of the different things you have there. The other one is Wireshark, being able to read cap packet captures. So play with that one. So yeah, vulnerability scanning, Nmap, and, and Wireshark are probably your three biggest ones you really need to know like forward and backward pretty good. The rest of them, it's pretty much if you know what the tool is and you can read the output, you'll be able to get the answer. If I give you an output from SQL map, you should be able to figure out that that is from SQL map and that that is a SQL vulnerability, right? That's kind of more of the in-depth. And then if you have the video course and you don't have the practice exam course yet on the Udemy, I recommend buying the practice exam course. Again, you can go to deontraining.com slash Udemy to get it. And I think it's like 10 or 15, maybe 20 bucks at most. And that's got 540 questions, 90 questions per exam, six exams in there. And for each of those, we have about 100 of those 
of those 540 questions that are, look at this log and tell me what's going on. Like, here's a piece of a log. Is this an SQL inject, an XML inject, directory traversal, or you know whatever else it is, right? And, and we've got all those. So that's another good way. And that'll give you practice for the exam, but it won't necessarily teach you how to do it in the real world. But if you're worried about passing the exam, that is, that is definitely gold right there.